everybody. Welcome back to Nashville Unsigned. We are chilling with Miss Whistle. Woo! Grayson, our couch. New, a new spot, new spot, new banner. All that we've upgraded. And we got Whistle on the scene. <laughs> I feel so honored right now. Oh I'm, gosh, I feel honored. I'm hooked on your shit right now. Like, I'm hooked on it. It's oh, awesome. It makes me so happy. It's awesome. Thank you. So tell us, like, how you got to Nashville, when you got to Nashville, yeah, and um, why. I've been here about five and a half years. Um, I sang my entire life, but mainly in the shower. I never <laughs> really pursued anything. Um, and after college, I just said, I've got to go for it. I've got to move to Nashville. And um, I had an aunt that lived here, uh -huh. and she had kind of filled me in on the music scene. So I moved here. Um, I found some roommates on Craigslist. Holla. And through um, them, basically, one of my roommates um, was dating a guy at the time, and he is my now manager. Um, really so we started cool. working together about three years ago, and basically, you know, we met, and he asked where I was playing, what I was doing, and mm -hmm. I said, I'm, you know, playing in my living room and <laughs> writing in the shower, and that's yeah, about it. Yeah. Um, so it's been a crazy journey, but yeah. it's been amazing, and it's all um you know i feel like it's fate to look back on it and yeah. think about all of the moves i made oh, and everything. where i'm at now mm -hmm. um, but i've always loved to sing i just i think there was a part of me that was uh scared or fearful and just holding back and about yeah. five years ago i was just like i gotta go for it i gotta do it so you've never really taken it like to a super professional level until you got to nashville yep. right yeah um so tell us kind of like what's going on with your music. What do you yeah. have out right now? Yeah. Um, so um, I have a few singles out right now mm -hmm. and I'm releasing um, an EP called yeah. Old Souls, Young Bodies, oh, yeah. January 27th. Oh, yeah. um, I'm super excited uh, for the EP, especially because, you know, doing this for three years, writing so many songs, figuring out the sound, the vibe, there's just so much that went into it. I was really cautious about releasing something. I just wanted it to be right. Yeah. And I feel like um, it's the right time, the right songs, the right moment. And so I can't really, I can't wait to release something like out into the world and have my own project. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, I'll be playing an EP release show on January 30th. Yeah, January 30th, yes. guys. That at the High Watt. At the High Watt with, uh, who are you with? On um, Fajora and Flurry. Nice. Yeah. Uh, sick. I know. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> badass <laughs> females. You have to come. So. Yeah, uh, it is a team full of badass yeah. females. Damn. I, I like it. I like, I like it. it too. So tell us, tell us, the, now we're getting to the good part. Yeah. Tell us something crazy or random yeah. um, that you can let out of the vault yes. for us at Nashville Unsigned? Um, so, a lot of people don't know this. I am a huge college football fan and I'm very superstitious and I'm kind of psychotic about my superstitions. <laughs> I sit I like in like it. crazy positions. Like one time I sat like this for like 30 <laughs> minutes and potentially like Pull day and string. <laughs> um, I'll take like vows of silence and I won't talk. Same shirt, the same jersey same without jersey. washing it. Um, it's really gotten to really bad level. So, I don't so know. you're a badass chick that likes sports that's <laughs> and beer. Come on. And whiskey. And who's very attractive. <laughs> Come on, God. Really? Like you just got in can well, sing. That's, very sweet. that's Thank like you. a quadruple threat. <laughs> Thank you. What have you learned dude, thus far? So like throughout your career, what can you give to some up and comers um, to help them? Uh, maybe some guidance, some mentorship. Yeah. Um, that you've learned along the way. Three years ago, I didn't know what a click track was. I didn't know what a sync was. I had no idea what a publishing deal was. Yeah. I mean, I pretty much knew nothing. And so there was a huge learning curve. Um, but I think that the most important thing that I learned is that this industry is based off of relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and as cheesy as it sounds, it's so important to be kind to people. Yeah. You never know when you're gonna work with that person again. Um, you know, write with them. And on top of that too, I think championing and supporting your peers. Um, this industry can be really lonely if yeah. you start to compare yourself to other people. So I think looking at everything as, you know, uh, a win for someone else is a win for the Nashville community yeah. or a win yeah. for music just makes it more fun. Yeah. And if, 
you know, if it's not fun, then why are we doing this? And that's like why, like how Music Mafia came yeah. up, is it literally was like a ton of creatives that all supported each other. Right. And when one broke, other ones got exposure. Yes. So super cool. Dude, drop the mic on that one, like <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> But yeah, dude, thank you so much thank for you. being this here. Is awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Dude, I'm stoked about what you're doing and I'm truly a fan of your music. Thank um you and so then much. the 30th, 1.30, 30th. the high watch. High watch, 8 p.m. Be there it. or you're gonna Be have there. serious FOMO. Yeah. We're out.